If there's one thing I've learned over time about cartoons, they don't like to be caged. Attica, Attica, Gattica, Attica's Finch. I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd and welcome to Saturday Morning Black Nerd. If you put a cartoon in a cage, a crib, a park, or a zoo, they're gonna find a way to escape. So here are the top five cartoon escape artists. Number five. Come on and see, 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 Tennessee Tuxedo. See, 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 Tennessee Tuxedo. My good friends at Shout Factory sent me the complete collection of Tennessee Tuxedo and his tails on DVD, and that's what prompted me to make this list. Plug. Tennessee Tuxedo, voiced by the great Don Adams, and his pal Chumley would always leave the zoo so they could get jobs, solve a crime, or my personal favorite, go see Mr. Whoopi. That was his name. His name was Mr. Whoopi. Newlyweds, for 10 points, tell me the last time a penguin and a walrus saw your Mr. Whoopi. I'm gonna say in the butt, Bob. Side note, let me just say that Mr. Whoopi had this awesome chalkboard. It could shrink, it could grow, he could draw things on it, it would animate things, graphics. I'm just saying, Mr. Whoopi, you need to call up Apple. I think they owe you some money for their iPad design. So if a penguin is what you must see, you gotta get to Tennessee. Take me to another place. Chumley, I challenge you to a game of horseshoes, a game of Horseshoes. Number four. Hey, hey, boo boo. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Who was that? It was Yogi Bear. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo boo. Now, Yogi Bear didn't escape Jellystone Park all the time because he was too busy getting those picnic baskets, yay! But every once in a while, Yogi Bear would try his best to get out of Jellystone Park. I distinctly remember that cartoon when he was using all these different contraptions to try to escape Jellystone, and every time they would either backfire or some tourists would see him and they would yell out, Hey, Ma! Look at the bears! Look at the bears! Look at the bears! And of course, Yogi would be out of the park for like five minutes and realize the outside world was not made for him, so he always tried to make his way back into Jellystone. Cause let's face it, the outside world don't like bears. Except for a couple of nightclubs I accidentally walked into in West Hollywood. They like bears a lot. Number three, shirt to the tails. The shirt tails were those little animals that wore t-shirts and they would always have flashing phrases on the t-shirts. They're kind of like the stuffed animal equivalent of those sweetheart candies you ate at Valentine's Day. You are cute. You're terrific, sweetheart. You had Bogey, Rick Raccoon, Tig, Pammy, and of course, my digger. What's my shirt telling name? Digga. Now the shirt tails could have just escaped the park normally, just walked out the front gate, but oh no. They had this transportation device that would turn into a car, a jet, a boat. I mean, even Batman doesn't have technology like that. Where do the shirt tails get those wonderful toys? Number two. Watch Rugrats, time to chill. Tommy, Chucky, Angelica, Phil and Lil. Those dumb babies would escape the pen and their parents in every single episode. They escape out of pens, cribs, parks, baseball games, ice shows. No no matter where they're at, they're going to escape. You know how Rugrats ran until 1993 and then they kind of took a pause up until 1997? I think during that time, the Rugrats were taken away by Child Protective Services. Are you Stu Pickles? Yes, I am. Are you aware that four babies and a three-year-old girl have escaped out of your custody in a reptar-shaped buggy for at least 11 to 22 minutes? every week. Oh, that happens all the time. We even lost them in Paris once. <laughs> Isn't that right, Dee Dee? <laughs> if I had a nickel, I'm gonna take your kids away. And the number one cartoon escape artist star, help, it's the Hair Bear Bunch. In the Wonderland Zoo, there are certain bears who escape the zoo on an invisible motorcycle. Let me repeat, three bears in every single episode escape the Wonderland Zoo on an invisible motorcycle. No, I can accept the shirt tails having their own transforming vehicle, but you mean to tell me that bears got hold of Wonder Woman technology? You know one day Cindy Bear was hanging out with Yogi Bear having like a date or something and then Hair Bear just rolled up on his invisible motorcycle and was like, hey baby, drop that zero and get with a hero. And then Yogi Bear and Hair Bear were really confused because they have the same voice. Now I want to hear from you, my black nerd cousins. If you could escape from anything in your life, what would it be? Your hometown, a place, a person, a job, a chore? Leave it in a comment or a video response. And then hop on your shirt tails jet and go. Be sure to like and favorite this video, tickle that subscribe button, check out my second channel, Andre, for the vlogs, and once again, thanks to Shout Factory for the Tennessee Tuxedo DVD and the clips in the show. I love you like a play, cousin. I'm out of 5,000. Chain chomp, yeah. Just cause I love my diggers. I share blood with all my diggers. Let a dugger holler, where are my diggers? All I wanna say is right here, my diggers. Money, cash tails, money, shirt tails, what? <laughs>